We mentioned the European relationship there between uh, with uh, President Xi and, and Angela Merkel, but I want to start by the changing relationship between President Trump and, and President Xi, culminating in an expression of frustration, it seems, from President Xi last week. Where is that relationship at this moment, given you've just returned from China? Well, you know, like all relationships that um, our president, um, Donald Trump, seems to forge, they change a lot, <laughs> day to day, hour to hour. So uh, there was a bromance uh, in Mar-a-Lago with the, uh, the summit. There was uh, expectations of a lot of progress on this 100-day <clears throat> trade plan. Uh, and the quid pro quo from President Trump was, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give you what you want economically. We'll back off on these absurd charges of currency manipulation. But you deal with North Korea. Uh, and um, obviously, China cannot or will not deal with North Korea. And so the, the re relationship has pivoted uh, uh, in, in a way that seems to be uh, far more contentious than we thought just uh, you know, a couple of months ago. Do you think they misjudged each other? i.e. President Xi misjudged how little he could get away with on North Korea and President Trump misjudged how much he could throw his rate around potentially and, and, and get action from, from China and if it is a pivot. I don't know, you know, mis, misjudging sort of uh, hints at a sort of a, a deep calculation that both leaders made uh, about the strategic opportunities that one could provide the other. Quite frankly, I don't, I don't think uh, we, we took it that, that far in the United States. And I think with respect to uh, Xi Jinping, um, you know, there, there was a fair amount of skepticism going into Mar-a-Lago and uh, as to what could ex he could expect from President Trump. And that skepticism has is, is pretty much been borne out. All right, that skepticism has deepened. Meantime, Julia told us how uh, Xi Jinping and Angela Merkel have been meeting. They had some panda diplomacy with the gift of the panda bears to the Berlin Zoo. They're also <laughs> bonding over their shared goals of trade and curbing climate change. Does that hurt the Xi Jinping-Donald uh, Trump relationship? Well, Scarlett, I mean, keep in mind that Germany and China have had a really strong relationship for a number of years. I mean, uh, a German... Uh, 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 machine exports into China. You, you go into a Chinese plant, and I go to a lot of them, uh, and uh, uh, Chinese manufacturing uh, facilities are in large part made in Germany. And so there's, there's nothing all that new there. They continue to cement uh, this relationship. And with the U.S. pushing back and moving the other way, uh, that allows that opportunity, an opportunity for that relationship to deepen.